In this video, I will explain to you what bonds are and the difference between the two kinds of bonds that exist. So first, we have to define what a bond is. A bond is, is, a, is a force that connects atoms into molecules or compounds. You can consider it as the glue that, that holds the mo uh, molecule together. So it's like a glue. But it, it is a force. That you should know that. It is a force between atoms. Force that connects. That is the definition of a chemical bond. However, there are two classes of bonds. There are covalent bonds and there are, and there are ionic bonds. I'm going to describe each separately. The first type of bond we'll study are the covalent bonds. And covalent bonds are attractive forces in which electrons are shared by two atoms. So there is sharing. That is the main characteristic of covalent bonding. There is sharing between atoms. And covalent bonds occur between two non-metals. So, two non-metals. So a covalent bond would occur between, let's say, nitrogen and oxygen. It is represented with a line because there is sharing between between both atoms. So two non-metals is the really important thing. And they're sharing between atoms. So remember, there is sharing. That is the most important thing. That is what represents an, a covalent bond. And well, the other class of, of bond there is are the ionic bonds. And these bonds unlike the covalent bonds do not occur because of sharing so there is no sharing these bonds exist because there is attraction between the opposite charges of each atom so there is going to be a anion and a cation so there is attraction between an anion and a cation so like a cation, if you if you remember, there it's positive. So a good way to remember it be like cats have paws. So cation positive, and the anion is negative. But if you remember one, you will you you can figure out the other one. So these bonds exist because of attraction. Remember, no sharing. Ionic, no sharing. And another, another thing that, that makes ionic bonds different than covalent bonds is that they occur between a metal and a non-metal. So if they give you a molecule and you want to determine if, it, if it's ionic or covalent, you can just see if, if, if the, the two elements are the, the same, like for covalent non, two non-metals or a metal and a non-metal for ionic bonding. So what occurs in an ionic bond let me raise here, is that let's say we have sodium which is positive and chlorine which is negative and opposite charges attract each other so they're gonna they're gonna, there's gonna be attraction between them. No, no sharing of electrons, just attraction. And they're gonna form a compound, NaCl. And that is how an ionic bond is formed. By the, the, the attraction of two opposite charges.